Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, great Biafrans. Friends of Biafrans, lovers of freedom all over the world, welcome to Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. This program has been designed to educate you, to enlighten you, to create awareness, of course to make the world understand what is going on in this part of the world. We live in a part of the world where virtually everything you see, everything you hear are lies. Of course, um, this is the only platform where you get the truth. This is the only platform where we dish out uh, the truth without fear or favor, without minding whose ox is God. We say it the way it is because we are a people uh, from the land of the rising sun. We have come to ensure that Biafra is restored. And of course, that is to say to enthrone truth because Biafra is all about truth. We are the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Mazen Namdekanu and deputized by Mazuchi Mefo. We are whiter than white and whiter than snow. We have no other objective, we have no other goal, we have no other aim but to restore Biafra, to restore our freedom, to restore the dignity of mankind, to restore freedom to the black race. Of course, that is why we are here this morning. We are reaching you from Biafra land. My name is Ngozi Chukoka. And uh, in the studio with me this morning, Mas Victor Oyedo. Your friends and all of us of freedom, I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Stay tuned and bless you. You're Good welcome, morning. Mazi. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Okay, um, Mas Victor, we'll be analyzing what we have here this morning. It will be analyzing it. Right? Um, we have just a few things to discuss, but they are really important. We are looking at the state of the nation, the uh, state of the contraption the state of um, Biafra land, what is going on, we are going to be looking at them and of course with that we will also know how to prepare ourselves and uh, how to protect ourselves. It's really, really important. So um, in next than 60 minutes from now we will um, open up the lines for you to call and make your own contributions, for you to call and tell us what you think based on the topic of discussion. It's really important. Okay, before I go ahead, I'll read the headlines this morning. The headlines we are going to be discussing this morning. Mieti Ala kicks as Fulani Radio attracts more reactions. Mieti Ala kicks as Fulani Radio attracts more reactions. Seven days quick notice to all Fulani headsmen in Southwest tagged Operation Sweep Clean. Seven days uh, quick notice. To all Fulani headsmen in Southwest, start Operation, Qu Operation Sweep Clean. The third one, Fulani headsmen harassed on the monarch in Palace after he reported them to the police. The next one, a national meeting needed to settle Nigerian national identities. And the last one, that is coming from um, Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria. Say a national meeting needed to settle Nigerian national identities. And then the last one here, President Muhammad Buhari will not Islamize Nigeria. Arewa pastors assures Christians. So now we have Arewa pastors and they are assuring Christians that President Muhammad Buhari will not Islamize Nigeria. When the whole thing is glaring, when everything is clear as crystal, and uh, of course uh, the Islamization agenda is going on but um, some Christians choose to be deceived some people choose to be deceived a lot of them out there uh, you know they don't care so many people care less of what is to come or what is happening already uh, so we are going to be discussing these issues this morning but before that don't forget we have just four days to go for this to go and we will be uh, celebrating we will be honoring our heroes so Mazi, when you do so far how do you see it uh, what do you think um how do you how do you think it's going to be uh, come you know considering the spate of killings the spate of kidnappings going on in biafra land just a few days ago uh, of the nigerian police in anambra state uh, you know they come uh, Accuse IPOB of using stones and weapons on them and all my, you know, they keep arresting people for no uh, just cause, just because they want to honor our heroes. So, what do you see? What do you think? How do you think 
or this year's Heroes Day is going to be in spite of all these challenges? Well, uh, um, so far so good. Everything is still uh, uh, going the normal way it should go. Apart from all these uh, major distractions we are having from all these uh, enemies that we have without and within. But apart from that, everything from uh, from what I can see from my own end and where I see it, everything is going to be uh, perfect. And uh, we are going to respect our heroes like we have proposed. No demon, no devil from anywhere can stop us. And uh, you know, the most, uh, the most alarming thing here is uh, the fact that there are a lot of uh, security challenges up there in the north. They have a handful of Boko Haram, ISIS, and uh, ISWAP. All of them joined together, even the Al Qaeda militants, the uh, uh, Hausa, Fulani, and the, uh, the rest of them killing people. And yet, um, you saw the video of uh, the, 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 the Boko Haram men group. They released uh, the video of uh, soldiers they captured and uh, mm -hmm. telling people the, 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 the number of uh, massive weapons they captured. And yes, those ones did not pose a, secu a security threat. But it is only in Biafran land where people are going about their normal business and the, 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 the indigenous people of Biafra are going about their normal evangelism with their flags. And the, I think it's the only, it's flag is the only uh, weapon I saw they are carrying. Apart from flag, there's no any other thing, no harmful weapon and any other thing. Because the reason why I say flag is a weapon because it's a weapon that drives away evil spirit. You know, once you mention that name, Mazin Namdekano, you send the, a, a, a fear down the spine of uh, many politicians. I mean, it rings a bell in their heart and they got afraid. Do you know only that name alone is what killed Buhari and it's killed a lot of them. So that's why they don't want to hear anything that has to do with IPOB or the, if not, I don't see any security challenges and the people back home here are okay with whatever IPOB is doing. Educating and enlightening them, trying to save our people. But it's only the foreigners, the uh, guru eating foreigners that came to our land that are making all those uh, inciting statements that uh, anybody associated with the IPOB should. How can you separate somebody from himself? Because everybody down here is part of the indigenous people of Biafra. Because if you say you are not indigenous people of Biafra, then you are indigenous stranger of Biafra land. And you must go back to House of Lane, are one not where you belong. So we are doing what we are doing peacefully. And and uh, we understand ourselves better than any other person could understand us. It's only strangers, it's only the idiots we have in our land that are bringing those strangers to come and tell us who we are not, to come and bring division among us, to come and say you are IPB member or you are not part of IPB. Everybody is indigenous people of Biafra and all of us we are honoring because there is no family in Biafra land, we keep saying it over and over again. There's no family, no kindred, no place in Biafran land that will say that they didn't lose anybody in during the genocide called war that happened. So we are uh, unanimously uh, coming together to honor them. So I didn't see anything wrong with what we are doing. So far so good, my sister. We are making progress and uh, I'm very, very happy our people have received the message. Even the enemies, all of them know what is going on and uh, also the zoo army and the police you know all of them have united together because uh, they made a statement uh, lately and said that uh, the security in the southeast has so far been beefed up so that is a uh, you know it's another part of evangelism it will tell the people that look if you come out that day nigerian army and they because since they have teamed up together those evil people they join forces together to kill our people if you come out that day they will kill you in order to label it uh, IPOB. Of course, you know what happened uh, between the case of uh, Prophet Moko. Nobody killed the man. The man, he died a natural death. And they come out no, to say, is IPOB have, have you been able to make investigations? Yes, yes. No, from the I investigation, we got... Yes. He, he didn't have any form of uh, injury. And that is what the, the, the police, they couldn't re release the report of what they, are they found. So now... I, the, th I think, sorry, don't you think you should rather use... IPOB had no involvement in his death. We never know that in a natural day. You never can tell if it was poisoned by the same people who sent him. You know, so well, it doesn't look like there, 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 there might be a possibility yeah, that uh, an autopsy had not been carried out. They have carried that an autopsy. That's what I'm trying to say. But the police, the people that are into, have uh, seen the they have not. Uh, they didn't release the result for anybody to okay. see. That is telling you that probably the man.
and they know what killed him exactly. and uh, they are trying to uh, level up UAB for it and this is exactly the same plan they are making now anybody that comes up on that day they will kill that person and they will still level IPAP for his death so it's going a long way for those people who are wise enough to see the, the handwriting on the wall that I go to Nakreka, so I now go to Washington. I hear Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, I think that's much we can take for now. We will embark on a break, and uh, when we return, the lines will be open for you to call in and also make a contribution. You can also tell us as well. In fact, when you are calling, you tell us uh, what is happening in your community. Why do you think the youth in your own community cannot rise to defend the land? That is the question, that is what, uh, you know, the questions you are going to answer when you call on this platform. Why do you think the youth in your community cannot come together to protect the land, to protect our aged parents? It's really important. Let's look at it and then know the way forward. Thank you once again. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. I am Ngozi Chukwoka. And I have Mas Victor Onyodo with me. He has done justice to what we have here this morning. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. <music> And of course, we commend Biafra God's Talent for that wonderful program, for that wonderful um, program you just finished watching. You know what it means. We were people living happily. We, we, we were just, um, you know, living happily amongst ourselves. But when they came, they raped us, they raped us of our land, they raped us of our inheritance. They took away everything that belongs to us, yet they killed us. Of course, we know about the genocide committed upon, uh, committed on Biafra's 1967 to 1970. We also know that we have been dying since the, the amalgamation. We know how much that have died in the north. We know those who have died um, d since 2015 up until now. A lot of people have died. And yet, we want to go, but they have refused us to go. That is why we say Biafra must stand. We must ensure we restore Biafra. And of course, our heroes must be honored. They must be remembered every day. So thank you, Biafra God's talent, for reminding us that we must have to stand to um, you know, honor our heroes. We must not fail to also get Biafra. Uh, because, because of them, we are here today. If not that they gave their lives, we won't be here today. So the lines are open right now. Don't forget to call us and, uh, of course, make your own contributions. Uh, but before that, we also look at um, uh, one of the needs we have here. We also look at it and know what to, you know, let me hear what Mas Victor will have to say about that. That is about um, Fulani Hetzman. Okay, we have um, President Muhammad Buhari will not Islamize Nigeria. Arewa pastors assures Nigerians. Um, what do you have to say about that? Just in summary, I wouldn't want to read it in summary. Um, do you know, does it, do, do you think the Arewa pastors are saying the truth or do you think they can come out and say the truth to Nigerians? So are they also being used? No, they are part of the game. They are part of the Islamization agenda. Remember that uh, Turkey uh, used to be 1,001% Christianity before now. But it is still the same Christians over there that were used in destroying Turkey. It's a Christian that built the weapon of mass destruction that the Muslim used in destroying Turkey. That is something that is happening here. The pastors are at it again. They have come to deceive the people, to mislead the people. And I don't regard them as men of God because they are men of lies and deception. So they have come with their deception to lie. And with all the things that is happening today, it goes a long way to show you that those people, they are deceivers and misleaders. And they are liars, in quotes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, they are liars, they are deceivers. And of course, we also have those of them here in Biafra land. Okay, call on WhatsApp. Hello. Uh, there, well, welcome to the program. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is I'm calling from Can you please speak up, please? We can't hear you very well. 
to offer the good work they are doing for the Afra. Uh, this morning I want to comment, comment on uh, the issue of uh, the Yoruba people. I think about this. Uh, so our father is here. They are going to offer, they cannot do anything. They are just starting on the uh, second level. They cannot do anything. They can't matter with this Okay, can I ask you a question? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm very listening. Okay. Uh, you just talked about the Yorubans. Now I want us to talk about our youths. Why do you think our youths uh, will just watch Fulani Hexmen invade our land and kill our aged parents, kill our sisters, rape our sisters, and go free? And the youth are just there watching. So when we talk about the Yorubans, let's also talk about our land. Why is it so? Yes, we have been talking about our youth, and I believe they are hearing what we are saying there from time. All right, sorry, you have to call back because we can't even hear you. We can't hear you. Sorry about that. Do try and call back. Thank you very much. Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me clear now? Okay, it's clear. Go ahead. Okay. I say we have been talking, we have been talking, and I believe that our youth are yet not clear. Last time, uh, our youth from an ambassador, they will start planning out of an ambassador. So they are all flat, but they are coming out more, more. They are coming out more, more. more. Okay, they are coming off small small. We heard what happened in Enugu. This is not the first, the second, or third. Our people are being killed. Our mothers, our fathers are being killed. Just last Monday, 20 people were killed. Children, including children, their heads were cut off. Their different parts of their body were cut off by the Fulani headsmen. Uh, why the youths are there? Are they doing enough? No, but uh, you know, the, the problem they have there, most in that Enugu state, is that here. We can't hear you, please. Okay, we lost that call. You have to call back because I can't even... Uh, we can't hear him clearly. We can't hear him clearly. Please call and let us understand. We really need to wake up. Why do you think our youth can no longer rise up and, uh, of course, in agreement, defend our land? What actually is the reason? And how do we go about it? Do we fold our hands and watch the fallen headsmen come to our land, they kill our parents, and then we keep complaining? They are killing us, they are abducting us, uh, they are doing this and that every day. How long should we wait? Uh, why can't we work together to defend ourselves? Uh, you know, self-defense is not a crime. We know that if it is a crime in Nigeria, but at least we should try defending ourselves before facing the court or whatever, uh, wherever they will take us. Let's just defend ourselves first. Our life matters. Okay. All right. So we, we were talking about the Arewa pastors. Yes, exactly. Just uh, the question you are putting across uh, to my brothers over there. You know, just like uh, what I was saying about those uh, pastors and deceivers over there who are being used as a tool of deception, deceiving the people. Now, those pastors... They are not one, they are not two, they are in thousands. You remember there are a time when over a thousand of them came to, you know, support and uh, uh, trying to tell Atiku to stop uh, wasting his time that Buhari is the winner of the election. Now, what do you think will happen if uh, Hausa, uh, the Fulani men we are to go and, and carry out some invasion in that uh, in the community where those people are coming from? The youth of that place will not fight because uh, they have already believed the lies that they have gotten from those pastors. They have been feeding the youth with a lot of lies and deception, misleading them, telling them not to fight back. After all, the Sidan Joe, the pastor you have as a vice president, you know, he said sometime that uh, if the Hausa, if the Fulani men came to kill you, that you should pray for them while they are killing you you pray for them but the indigenous people of Biafra the IPUB people they are uh, threat they are constitution constituting uh, losers that you should uh, give them information that will lead to their arrest and um, emasculation so now that is uh, you know so this is the work of all these people that cause themselves passes and all of that deception upon deception deceiving and misleading the people so people from that very community where those pastors are coming from there's no way they are not likely to fight the flying when the real war uh, comes because they believe 
what the pastor is telling them as they are fighting and and killing them they will pray they will pray for them they will pray they will be calling the name of whatever god they are worshiping and praying on behalf of those that are killing them so this is the kind of uh, ideology these people are creating so that is why it's becoming difficult for us because if it is before when our people their mindset at least are free from all these uh, junks they are getting from uh, all these people I, I think they can put up some little resistance at least if, even if they couldn't ask what are like a new chinek adopter and all but this one is that they are trapped in that very uh in that very cage of this uh, re religious deception telling you that god will do everything for you if you go to social media you see that when all these false supply of people they are killing people raping and burning villages what do you do you just follow their comment they will say exactly. oh god will fight for us we pray that god will send holy ghost fire to come and fight fulani and fulani have the ak-47 and these people are waiting for their i mean the god they are praying to send holy ghost fire that will fight this is what they have been praying this is what these pastors are telling them to do on daily basis pray 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 so that uh, god will be killed and the same prayer you are praying is not being answered because you are not doing the right thing they say faith without work is dead yes you are supposed to pray i'm not trying to discourage you from praying or going to church or whatever do those ones but when it comes to practical because even those who are they used to go to mosques they pray they do everything but after the mosque and everything after washing their feet after okay they did fasting recently after this fighting now i mean after the fasting they have just done recent, completed recently they will carry their ak-47 they will go back to the field and start killing people and the, the christian counterparts uh, in everywhere what they will do is to pray and pray and pray and pray so that is why our youth need to wake up they need to the wise this time around no is telling them the truth and who is lying for all these other pastors to come out openly to tell you that there is nothing like a flag uh, islamization agenda that is to tell you that they are part of it from the onset because all this evil that is happening in our community they have never come out one day to condemn it they have never come out one day to condemn the killings that is happening both in just in every places of the north they have not come out one day to condemn it or to condemn or to even ask questions rather they are supporting what is happening so that is why it is very very difficult for people to fight back so but i think we keep on doing the work we are doing of evangelism telling people waking them up to know the right thing to do defend yourself when you save your life first then they can worship god it doesn't make any sense that uh, you are worshiping god or you are praying in the church and the full army came and hung you up kill every one of you kill both the men and everything and there's nobody alive to save you then how would you be alive to worship the god again all right we'll have a call on sky hello call on sky yes uh my sister i thank you all uh, good morning from uh, here welcome to the wonderful program. Job. Thanks very much um like um what i just heard from you and um Marcy, uh victor uh, let me just tell you one thing uh, the, those of them that call themselves pastors from the north go and check them very well they're not pastors because I've seen pastors, men pastors from Kadunas and the uh, Arewa side, came out to agitate, even with the dead body, to the National Assembly gate, telling them that Buhari uh, is evil, killing innocent souls. Then who are those very pastors? Who support? Let me just tell you, this uh, house of people, they are very smart. It's just like, uh, you know me. Now you they do me. Yet you can't defeat me. How are we take solve the problem? Now then be the people where they kill. Still organize some uh 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 fake organize Ndibo. Organize fake pastors. Using it to deceive uh, what they call it international communities. When you speak right now, just like what you say concerning uh Al Jazeera uh, 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 kind of interview between our our deputy and um Peter Obi. This is a stage manage. They just brought our, our deputy to know his mind. That's why they, they, they wrote the script of what the deputy of should have said. And that's what he said. This is, let me just tell you, these people are very smart, playing a smart game, which we ourselves we don't even know. We've not even know yet. You know, just like uh, my sister Ngozi has said, she said, why is it that our youth are keeping quiet? Let me just tell you, our youth and not keep you quiet. The reason is that people we are looking up to, are, I mean, they, 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 they don't give us much in courage. They don't encourage us. Instead, they implement fear. They use force. 
they use militias, they use militants, they use guns, they even use voodoo, I mean fake powers, to frustrate those youths, create fear in them, and at the same time use SARS to arrest them. That is why many youths are running away. That is why many youths are, when they, they know that this man is an evil man, but they will not talk. When they want to, they no, no, don't, don't talk anything, they will kill you. That is why you see everybody is afraid of the evil men and women. So the problem of this thing now is this of our men in the land that the houses are using. Now tell me, how come those Ohanese went that went to Abuja? Later, another one called themselves Ohanese youth. They were singing and clapping hands that they support Jubril uh, uh, hundred percent. That his regime is far better than good luck. You will have the big video at the end of it all. You to come out again. They were here. This has they managed. They picked most of them from the universities and fed them. So if I'm not surprised that if pastors people come and say that this is pastors are, are speaking of people, that is typical fallacious, fabricated, negotiated, brainwashed. Uh, I, I mean, already state managed interview to confuse a, a, a gullible man and the international communities. But we know them all. So thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, uh, my brother. Thank you for that contribution. Uh, you've made a lot of points, very important. But then the question still remains, how do we come out of this when we have leaders, um, you know, uh, uh, they, they are making, um, you know, they use the youths. They use the youths. They, even after using them, they still arrest them. And how come, how do we, how can these youths rise? You know what I'm, you know uh, how I feel? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Just me. like my brother, my service. Stand up. Mm. from this tale how can they be free because if the youths are not free it's not our fathers or our age parents that are coming to fight for us my, my sister that is the problem just like uh, my brother Avis pointed out these youths they are under magic spell and the only people that can break free from that magic spell is the people in digital people of uh, Biafra that is the IPOB but it's just that the people they don't want to be free they want to be you know uh, to be enslaved be given peanut. Do you imagine num the number of youths that died in the last uh, uh, sham called election? You know, they died for people who don't deserve uh, deserve that kind of sacrifice. All right, we'll have a call. Hello, Colin. What's up? Sorry, Colin. Hello. Morning. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to the program. Am I coming here? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Johnson. I'm calling for the water. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm to the program. I'm going to be Okay. I just want to contribute to NATO in this uh, uh, in the world that we do. So my sister, our brothers in in uh, this thing, our, our youth doesn't have a job. We don't have anything. These people are coming with soldiers and are coming up together with the police and the, all the rest of their forces. There is nothing you can do. Even if uh, even if you use the right to make sure that they bring uh, this thing, what they call it, to defend themselves. The the so called police and the uh, 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 civil defense and the whatever we we also put down to make sure that they bring the youth back. Our leaders for themselves or whatever or and then the ocean and then they are in their what are they doing? Are they not seeing all these things? Are they telling us that to, that we should remain in this contraction? Or are they telling us to, are they advising us to be, be keeping keeping on in this useless contract? That is what we are talking about. We don't have any leader in this uh, contraction. All we do is that let our leader be mad and the family. Continue what we do. We are in fact. We are of our brothers have run away from their villages because of uh, this rubbish, what they call them. I'm only just giving everybody sorry. Everybody should. We don't know what to do in this very contraction of all the same. Last time they went to the Ume Kimi. 
You see, thank you, thank you very much. Of course, we really, um, you know, we we have been disarmed by the people we called our leaders. We've been disarmed uh, physically. We've been disarmed mentally, and I think that is the worst. Spiritually, church has this religion. Let me not mm. say church. Religion has disarmed us uh, spiritually. We right. understand the spiritual second world war, January the first, fight the first world war, and lost, lost their colonial territory in Africa. And that is one of the main things that pulled them for second world war. But because they lost the war, the winners tell the history, you know. But the the the, the cause of second world war. You know, make the whole Europeans to understand that it's not about winning a war, but the consequences of your enemy retaliating back again. We yeah, we lost the first war, we lost civil war, but the second war, even if we're gonna lose it, but the, the every part of Nigeria should feel the pain. So that next time, when they don't want to treat a evil man, they will they will look back the last war. What happened? You know, so I'm not like I don't misquote me that I want war, war, but that's the only way we can find we can achieve freedom. We, we need to start planning for it. We need to start talking about it. It's not, yeah, I understand we have to come together, but there's no way we can come together hundred percent. Uh thank you, that's my contribution. Hi, right, thank you very much. Um but uh, it's unfortunate, um, you know, we were speaking even before he was attended to so we did not really get everything he said. But thank you for your contribution. And please whenever your call is taken, just hold on until you hear me um, attend to you. Then you can make your point so that we can um, understand you. Hello, call on the phone. Hello? Yes, good morning. Welcome to the program. Hello, good morning. Thank you very much. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Okay. I am calling for Menugu to report about our people that were held in the prison this Wednesday. Okay. I don't know what our and nails to be about their release. Up to now, what? nothing is, has been done. I don't know why the only state government decided to abduct our people and put them in the prison. I want to assure them of one thing. They are holding our... and it will not end. We will make... So hand over or our, our target message at home, we promise them that the target message at home was full. And we help, we <laughs> let me tell the energy state government one thing they don't know. Yeah? I mean, one man and we are to They forget that in the IPO group is one big family. Everywhere we do, we are one family. They are holding only but two. So know that we ICOGs are able and capable of doing anything we want. For us, or we come for them. We are no longer high. The prison. I am talking for many who am the third member of Elephant Room. They support me anywhere, anytime, any day. It's either they release our people or we come for them. And they can never stop their plan of self-storming. This is my guarantee. We are born into this and we are not going to run away from it. It's either they are flat or nothing. Thank you, Wada. God bless you. I want to leave you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And our people are released. Yeah, hello, you're on the phone. Call on the phone, come here. I'm not going to talk about this. 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 I'm not going to talk about
And uh, we also have to appeal to the leadership of IPOB to please help Cross River State with their transmitter. Please, Cross River State needs to hear the gospel. And if you are there as an individual, you know you can help. Please do contact us and, of course, um, make the gospel spread. Call on the phone. Hello. Hello. We can hear you. Good morning from here. What's the name you are you calling from? Hello. 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 I hope you are not listening to your Hello. Device. Sorry, you have to call back. I think you are listening to. Hello, Wanda. You have to call back, uh, Mazi. You have to call back so that we can have an effective communication. Hello, call on the phone. Hello, good morning from here. Can you hear me? Wanda, Wanda, good morning. Good well, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good morning, fellow Japans, friends of Japans and the lovers of freedom. The blessing of people of the Kajama will continue to guide and protect us and keep us moving forward for the future restoration of our land. You see? My name is Sujo, and I am calling from the this morning. As one of my brothers just called, we will continue to lament and cry out for the really good defense of our leaders. Our, our, our people are short. I, I, I say all the members of IGOB really good. They arrested them with the hope that they are going to stop the sit at home. But it's simply to do that. The arrest of our IGOB had fall. For the whole energy ICO because the message is everywhere. Everybody must sit at home, such as men. Members of the energy that sit at home will not win. And that's the reason why. Get the hardcore ICO energy. But we are telling them that we are going to sit that the whole energy will fall down. That's what like men. They said that they are innocent and they must allow to be free. They must release them. They should allow them to go because they didn't commit anything. They are not planning white men. They are not going to run at the Okay, we have another call. Of course, our people in Enugu must be released. They must be released unconditionally. And of course, uh, no matter of uh, no number of arrests can stop us. No, uh, you know, no amount of killing can stop Biafra. So they better stop. They cannot stop us. Hello, call on the phone. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? All right, call on WhatsApp, hello. You know the case of Nelsie, bye-bye. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, I'm going to go. Good morning from here. From? 
Yeah, good morning from here. Why don't you go to Chukwoka and uh, Vito, you know? Good morning. I say good morning to you. Good morning, watch next. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, my sister, we appreciate what you are doing for your motherland. My health care will uh -huh. bless you. All of you, Thank both you. Vito, you know, and Emma Zavis. I say, my Chukwoka bless all of you. And as well, bless our Ebo leader, Mazi Namudi Okokalo. Come on, Lord, so our members will see you praise you, Anya. On your chain, Ebo, what are you doing? And all the leadership of IPOBS. Yeah, we appreciate all of you. Those of you in Biafra land, we appreciate your work. We know you are formidable. That chat me is non-negotiable. And that chat, that chat, that chat, that chat, that Continue being resolute. We appreciate all, all whatever you people are doing there. Those of them be held in Enugu prisons, we are with you. We are with you. Sooner or later, all of you will come out. No matter the intimidation, no matter whatever they do are doing, whatever they are gang up, we are resolute. All of you are going to come out sooner or later. As regard to the calabar, as regard to the calabar, I think I've been saying this in this platform that calabar, calabar is not forthcoming. But I thank God somebody has, the case is coming up now. So we have to do the needful to make sure that we put transmitter in Calabar so they will be getting this news. Good news, good news. Let it get to any news and credit of Calabar, as well as uh, Idoma, as well as Igara, as well as Abo. All news and credit of Biafra land, we have to put transmitter there. Once they are getting it, you know, we are started. So whenever we are, we are, we are called upon, we do the need for, let us see how we can fortify that area. We appreciate them. We have to do the need for now. We have to do the need. The leadership of IPOB will do that. Please, what I need takes to for try that area, we have to do it as soon as possible. And those of you who know my car, my town, I'm sure you are, you are hearing Radio Biafra. On 102.1, point two, you get Radio Biafra. Oh my car, I'm with your man, Ekwe, Amandawa, Omondawa, Amibo. Our order at Amocha, Ukume, our member, you are getting the deal, Biafra. I'm sure you are getting it. If you are not getting it, come up to the air, but I believe and I know for sure you are getting it. That they sit at home, sit at home and honor our dead heroes. If you don't sit at home to honor these people, maybe the day you die, nobody will honor you. There is a receiver who is vice versa, let us do the need for. May Ekeko bless all the leadership of IPOB. Bless all of all. We all shall see Biafra in the name of Chukwu Kabiyama. Thank you. I sign off from here. Okay, from Lucy, from Poland, what's up? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because that that me is non-negotiable. Our seat at home is non-negotiable. That very day is sacrosanct. And it is a holy day. It is a day that matters so much to Biafrans. It is a day that matters so much to our ancestors. It is a day we do not joke with and wish not to joke with it. We must ensure we sit at home. We must honor the dead. We must honor our fallen heroes. It is very important. And of course, um, for those of you who are out there evangelizing, keep the fire burning. Uh, keep the fire burning. And there to leadership of IPOB, Cross River State need transmitter and something needs to be done about it. It's really, really Hello? important. Oh. Yeah, call on WhatsApp. Hello. Yeah, well done, Ututu Oman. Welcome to the program, man. Uh, Victor Ututu Oman. Ututu Oman. Um, I have a man who is a young man. Uh, uh, young man, you can see that I have a lot of people who are too much. But yet, but our people, the, some people issue a man who agrees with Nigeria government in the way by the hand of you could talk with yesterday. Come to talk with Mark Commando. When you are saying happy, they are one day on that when you are happy, you are not that time. So, let me go. Uh, only you try, uh, I mean, I do judge the rest of you. Let me try, Jaden. Some people side they have a bonnet with the day side. How do you feel? You know, we need it. Now, we need it. All we need more clothes to call the name with it. Now, we need it side. What do you check on the bobble? It has a book to do a book. A man who will be bobble. 
So only on the lap is the Jikrena, and they are not acting on you. Oh, John, I presume you to because of the police in Megasin. Okay, imagine that they get out of it. They will be able to cross in a way and a prison without no offense, no crime. They will cross in a way and a prison. Nigeria government is not telling me how they do it. Surprise! I am so bad. And I told me, so I will do more. We will destroy I. But to God is our strength. And the only airport I will remain in the airplane zone. We don't. I'm not even Nigeria government. Even Nigeria government is not telling me. And some of our people who say hang on there. How many we have to stand with who who stand on their own right? We have our own for job, thieves, those criminals. Or we have organized the issue. Man, the governors, who is a stupid governors, who will be the bad group. All these people, they don't want to. They don't want to make our people to to be okay. We have to hold their own family, their own pocket. It's a. Uh, uh, the only thing we are, we are, uh, Israel, Israel, they are, uh, we don't pray more than Israel. Israel pray more than us, but they are always fight. They are always fight, killing. Because the uh, killing will never stop. As long as Israel, they, they never stop it. We will stop it. We can never stop it. We can never stop. We will never surrender. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, we never surrender to our enemies. Never. It's never going to happen. We must keep fighting until Biafra is restored. Until Biafra is restored. Because um, we can't afford to disappoint our ancestors. We can't afford to disappoint our heroes. That is why we have said 30th of May remains sacrosanct. 30th of May remains a holy day. 30th of May is a day we must show solidarity, we must show respect, we must honor our heroes. So please, wherever you are in Biafra land that very day, you have to sit at home, you have to respect and honor our heroes. And don't forget, it is a day of sober reflection. Uh, it's a day of sober reflection. Call on the phone, hello. Hello, call on the phone, can you hear me? Too bad, you have to call back. Um, we lost the call. You have to call back and let us know what you want to say or let's hear from you. Hello, call on WhatsApp. My sister. Yeah, good morning from here. Am I coming up here? Yeah? We can hear you. Go ahead. Good. Uh, do I make a name uno? Do I make a name uno? No. The Afras worldwide. Even the worldwide. Make a name uno. Even when the wars up. Make a name uno. Um. Let it all be done. We can make it up. I'm buying it. All the principal officer IPOB. Depends on your level. I am greeting you. I am thanking you. Because your resoluteness is what we does where we are today. I remember saying, Oh, you can't do my name. You come and want the name. I can never stay, I can never stop saying the truth. I can never stop saying the truth. Because the truth will set us free. Truth is life. Mm -hmm. Yes. We must continue, my sister and my brother, Mazi, Victor, when you go. Why does go Zika? We must continue because um, what I understand is that um, our people don't never understand the meaning the full meaning of human resources. I don't know if I'm coming out clear. Well, yes, you are. Go ahead. But try and summarize because other colors are waiting. Okay, okay. 
our people don't understand the meaning of human resources. And that is the main major problem we have we are having. In Kemun Kemun, Kemun Kemun, is not what we come here to do. This is the time we want everybody to give this quest 80%. Yes, if possible, 100%. So that we will move ahead. It's not blah blah. Eh? You can see those that talk blah blah before the election. You can't hear them again. They now talking. You see? And you see what 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 is happening everywhere. So our people must stop living fake life, common life, or sin die. It can't go anywhere. It, it, can, it, can, it, it can never lead us anywhere. You must cut your coat according to your sight. That is what I continue telling our brothers and sisters. Let our people stop teaching our, our, our young generation some nonsense like this is the time we must steal them the value of human resources. Because IPOB has raised the foundation. We have laid the example. Instruction, follow instruction, obey instruction. That is what we come here to do. We don't come here to do. Obey instruction. Target of me, target of me. We sit at home. We can we we, we, we own nobody any apology about that. We know we, know, we can never we never own anybody apology for that. Because what we what they did to us, eh? What they did to us. No one is supposed to stand up and talk and, and challenge us on what we are saying here. All right, Mazi, can you please summarize? We have just uh, two minutes to draw the curtain. Okay, okay, thank you very much. I will summarize now. You know, nobody has the right to stand up and point at us if we stand up to do, to do what we are doing. Nobody has the right because what they did to us, my sister, my brother, it, it can never go out from my mind. Always in my mind. And my generation, I must teach them this. They must know it. Thank you very much, my sister. Thank and you my so brother. much. All right, Biafra. Biafra will help you. Thank you. All right, uh, this is the most we can take for today. We'll be drawing the curtain here. Thank you for joining us. Sanda, Mazi, Oindro, thank you for joining us. Um, thank before you, we Anda. go, what message do you have for Biafra? Okay. For my, our youths. Okay. Um, the message is very simple. Um, if you don't know where the rain started beating you, you are most unlikely to know where the rain will stop beating you. Um, our youth, wake up. That is the simple message or the simple advice I would have to give you. If you don't wake up, then I'm very, very sorry that you may sleep forever in slavery. Wake up and fight for your freedom. Wake up and defend your land. That's they are coming and they are already here with us. And dining with us it's time we resist this evil together and most importantly a lot of people have died for us to have life and the only way we can appreciate them at least a little bit is to honor them and also assure them that we are going to achieve what they died for that is the essence of us that let me sit at home you don't even need anybody to preach for you because it involves everybody so please do the best you can spread the message don't be afraid of arrest they can arrest us they can kill us but they cannot kill our spirit we still fight continue the fight in the uh from the underworld so we are not afraid of them whatever they are going to do let them do their worst and uh, believe you me all of us with our one percent solution to the problem we will bring complete hundred percent solution to the problem Thank you. My name is Nema Victor. Until I come your way next time, say bye for now. And uh, thank, thank you, you so much. All right, our viewers, we appreciate you for joining us. And uh, I won't close without reminding the leadership, without reminding you out there to please remember Cross River State. They are part and parcel of BF, and of course, they deserve to own their own radio. Something needs to be done. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for believing in us. We urge you to join us again, same time, same station tomorrow. I remain Ngozi Chukoka. Bye for now.